Hello dear friends and colleagues, we are very happy to introduce to you Autofocus Pro, a novel and ringless polyfocal progressive intraocular lens. His Holiness Pujya Mahan Swami Maharaj is the prime inspirer of this IOL. He is Chief Saint of BAPS Swaminarayan Sanstha. Dr. Jagdeep M. Kakadia is an eye surgeon based in Bhavnagar city of Gujarat state of India. He is practicing since 1988 and in last 32 years more than 60,000 eye surgeries have been done by him. He is innovator of Omniglow and he has done many medical surgical lens related and instrument related research. Dr. Ramesh C. Shah is a prolific eye surgeon practicing in Mumbai since 1988. He is using multifocal lenses since 1989 one of the highest multifocal IOL users in India. More than 75% of his IOL practice is multifocal IOLs. He has done extensive research on multifocal and EDF IOLs. Dr. Satish Shet is director of Drishti Eye Care and Research Center and co-founder of Innovision Medical Optics. He is based in Hubli, Karnataka, India. In private practice since 2000, and is recipient of many national and international awards for innovative research. Dr. Vikrant V. Bale is a unique combination of being an MBBS doctor and a plastic and polymer chemistry engineer. He is managing director of Lifeline Medical Devices, which is based in Aurangabad, Maharashtra state of India. He is the creator of this lens as per the design conceptualized by us eye surgeons. If we are architects, he is the civil engineer. We do have financial interest in this IOL. All these colleagues have immensely contributed their ideas, suggestions and pearls of wisdom in design and creation of this unique IOL. Autofocus Pro IOL is designed by Milli Optics Intraocular Lenses Private Limited and manufactured and supplied by Lifeline Medical Devices Private Limited. We request you to please pay your undivided attention for next 20 minutes and watch this video to learn about fine points and nuances about Autofocus Pro IOL, the world's the best designed IOL. This video is mainly meant for eye doctors and eye surgeons. Autofocus Pro looks like monofocal but works like multifocal. It is an aspheric polyfocal progressive lens without any diffractive rings. It is static and fixed in the bag. There is no mechanical pseudo accommodation, yet it functions like an autofocus lens, hence the name. Progressiveness of this IOL is clearly visible on NIDAC OPD scan like very focal progressive spectacle lenses. Design and dimensions. This is the schematic diagram of autofocus progressive polyfocal optic, which gives excellent DIN vision, distance intermediate and near, by green technology, gradient refractive index. There is no loss of light energy because there are no diffractive rings, so there are no photons which are lost. This is the schematic optic and as you can notice that even with different sizes of pupil, the ratio of the distribution of light remains the same. These two dialing holes are also position indicators to be kept in upper half of eye. They also help to drain out any remaining retro IOL viscoelastic. Zigzag serrated outer edges of L-shaped haptics inspired from postal stamps borders gives us rock solid rotational stability. Large and horizontally oval optic covers full visual field, hence there is no negative dysphotopsia and 6 mm long L-shaped zigzag edged haptics provide rock solid rotational stability. Autofocus Pro is made from glistening free acrylic copolymer which is made by Contamec 
which is a UK based limited company with 30 plus years of proven track record of safety of material which is also EU and FDA approved. Let us see a short video of implantation of Autofocus Pro IOL. Milli Optics Lifeline Autofocus Pro IOL. Please notice two dialing holes and zigzag outer edge of haptics. Zigzag outer edge of L-shaped haptic loops gives excellent rotational stability, easy loading and easy folding of optic and haptic. Smooth and easy implantation through 2.6 millimeter incision. Easy insertion of leading loop into the bag as well as that of the trailing loop into the bag. When we rotate the lens, we can actually feel the tactile resistance at the fornix. And we can also see the fornicial lens epithelial cells getting scraped out by the edge of the loop. You can see the debris coming out. Dial the lens in such a position that two dialing holes come in upper half of the eyeball. No rotation during anterior visco removal. No rotation even while removing the retro IOL visco. Stable even while we nudge the IOL. Remain stable even when eyeball is nudged with two stick swabs gently or forcefully. No rotation even with no hypotony even with so much of force. It's a rock solid rotational stability of this IOL thanks to the zigzag haptic. These two pictures taken a month apart demonstrates concrete like rotational stability. Autofocus Pro can be implanted in FACO as well as manual SICS surgery. Just to repeat, to keep Autofocus Pro in proper position, we have to keep two dialing holes in upper half of eyeball. At any size of pupil, light distribution proportion remains same, hence it is pupil independent. Angle kappa or angle alpha are of no significance or importance. And as you can notice, there is no light energy loss because there is no destructive interference or diffraction. In retroillumination, we can barely perceive different zones of Autofocus Pro IOL. This is the only ringless polyfocal progressive IOL having all the three zones in central 1 mm. This is the typical post of fogging over refraction versus distance visual acuity chart. And as we can see from plus 1 to minus 3.5, the vision almost remains the same. This nearly flat DOF chart on the minus side is suggestive and indicative that Autofocus Pro IOL behaves like the natural crystalline lens of a teenager after implantation. Autofocus Pro is a forgiving IOL for the post-top refractive surprises from plus 1 to minus 1 diopters. We really don't need to be so acute, so vigilant and so apprehensive about IOL power calculation and formally. Even without an optical biometer, results will be excellent. No subconscious anxiety or apprehension for eye surgeons on post-op day one. Contrast sensitivity is as good as a young adolescent as measured on Pelly Robson chart. Any patient with clear cornea and healthy macula is fit for this autofocus pro lens. 
modulation transfer function of IOLs is the indicator of quality of crispness of image formed on retina. Higher MTF is better, ideal MTF is 100% which is not possible to achieve. Most aspheric monofocal IOLs have distance MTF value of 70 to 80%. Most ringed bifocals have MTF value of between 40 to 50%. Most ringed trifocals have an MTF value of 30 to 40 percent. Hence, image is misty, blurry, waxy, and the contrast is low in cases of ring dials. Autofocus Pro, although being a progressive multifocal, has MTF value of around 70 percent. Thus, image quality at retina and contrast are as good as monofocal IOL. Normal anatomical variations of size, shape and position of pupil makes no significant difference. Hence, angle kappa or alpha has no importance nor relevance. Like a bullet train, binocular unaided average reading speed was more than 200 words per minute for most patients. With crisp and clear vision at all distances, Without any negative or positive dysphotopsia, Autofocus Pro is also a press biopia correcting IOL. All near vision intensive vocations become spectacle free and as easy and as clear as a teenager. There is no optical noise as it is in diffractive ringed IOLs. Hence, there is almost no neuroadaptation to multifocality in this lens. It is instantly accepted and adapted to. It can be implanted in monocular cataracts also. It can be implanted in previous eye having a monofocal IOL and also in previous eye having a ringed multifocal IOL. When we implanted in second eye of previous eye having diffractive multifocal in 45 cases, all those patients said we see much better and wax free vision with autofocus pro IOL. Many of them said in our other eye can we have an exchange of old ring multifocal IOL with this IOL. Please note most multifocals are actually bifocals. Multifocal is a misleading misnomer. In case of a monofocal IOL only far vision is clear. Whereas, in case of Autofocus Pro IOL, vision is simultaneously clear for near, intermediate and distance. Out of more than 5000 implanted, not a single patient complained of negative dysphotopsia. Autofocus Pro IOL is semi-oval with 7.5 mm horizontal and 6.3 mm vertical diameter. Conventional 6 mm optics IUL give rise to negative dysphotopsia due to this gap. Autofocus Pro gives panoramic vision without negative dysphotopsia and without blurred peripheral aphakic vision. Autofocus lens is large enough to cover entire pupil even in traumatic mydriasis. Hence, there is no negative dysphotopsia. In 18 patients, 18 eyes who had intolerable and nagging negative dysphotopsia, we explanted conventional 6mm optic IOL and implanted our autofocus pro IOL and immediately their complaints of negative dysphotopsia were gone. We are now 101% sure that a larger diameter 7.2mm or larger optic lens is the necessity and the way to negate negative dysphotopsia. A large lens has advantages. Bigger YAG capsulotomy is possible without vitreous base shift, prolapse or traction. Even if capsular axis is not perfect in size and shape, IOLs will still be covered, well covered by rexis margin. In a large PC rent, we can still implant and capture. Material is such that there is no pitting of IOL when doing YAG. Because of its large size, Autofocus Pro is the lens of choice for various types of natural, iatrogenic or traumatic colobomas and mydriatic pupils induced by acute naryngeal glaucomas or trauma. Even in significant astigmatism, we have implanted Autofocus Pro IOL. 
reducing astigmatism as much as possible by size and placement of incision on axis of plus corneal cylinder or by astigmatic keratectomy incisions done by RK diamond knife. Patients may still need a minor sphere or a cylinder for distance but none of them will certainly need bifocals or very expensive progressive spectacles. Autofocus Pro IL is the best choice for kids. These children will need only monofocal spectacles to correct their gradually increasing myopia. They will never need bifocal or progressive spectacles, which is a big recurring expense for the parents for over next two decades. No waxy or hazy vision, so no induction of mild amblyopia. Youngest child done by us so far was 18 months old. In diabetics, of course, with healthy macula, we can implant this lens without hesitations because there is no double or triple diffraction of green laser spot if at all they need PRP in future. Larger size of IOL optic body is also a good advantage for retina surgeons for examination, treatment and surgery. Because of double ring 360 degree square edge, PCO rate is quite low. Because of prismatic shape of square edge, we can see a rainbow-like ring in good retroillumination. Only about 4% out of 5000 plus eyes done in last 30 months needed YAG capsulotomy. Both these eyes of the same patients are over 30 months post-op and as we can see the capsule is very clean. In most cases, Best corrected distance visual acuity was 6.6 or better if macula was healthy. Near vision unaided was n by 6 at 12 to 14 inch. Computer vision was excellent from 2 feet to 4 feet distance. Kitchen platform while standing, stair steps while going up or down and below or under furniture vision was seen as clear as a child. Easy needle threading in low light at after bilateral surgery was done. Almost there is no positive dysprotopsia, no glare, no halos, no waxy vision and no photic phenomena. So it can be implanted in night drivers also. In short, anyone who is fit for a progressive spectacle lens is fit for autofocus pro IOL. Another simulation of night driving waxy vision through ringed multifocal IULs versus night driving vision through autofocus pro IUL. In short, after using 5000 plus autofocus pro IULs for us, now there is nothing like monofocal, multifocal, trifocal or EDF IUL in our practice. Autofocus pro is universally fit for any eye with fairly good retinal function and clear cornea. We just consider this as the ultimate premium monofocal and keep using it as autofocus pro for all. Beyond cataracts, autofocus pro is also the best choice for surgical treatment of presbyopia, high hyperopia and high myopia. It is also the best method to treat narrow angle glaucomas. There is no need for mono, micro mono or mix and match vision. There are some caveats. We avoid implanting autofocus pro whenever we are not sure of capsular bags intra-op as well as post-op centration and stability such as in gross subluxation, Marfan syndrome or combined PC plus AC rim rent etc. Please always make sure that both the haptics are in the bag or both are out into ciliary sulcus. Having one loop in and one loop out will give rise to tilt and unwanted significant astigmatism. Always keep Y hook ready. Use them in cases of narrowing down pupils to make sure that both the loops are in the bag or both are out of it. Please avoid in non-virgin cornea such as RK, old traumatic scars or old corneal opacities. Due to its larger size, incision size needed is 2.6 mm or more. Please never attempt wound assisted delivery. This big lens doesn't like to pass through very small and too tight passage. 
although the patient will have 6x6 unaided vision depending on which autoref a surgeon is having it may show minus 1.25 sphere or some myopic refraction error on post of visits this is because autorefs are confused and baffled by the progressive optic of this lens and quite often they average out the power of upper and lower half of the sigil so don't just rely on autoref to judge for the post of refraction please rely only on subjective acceptance few of the satisfied patients with their results many surgeons have a question in their mind how does a progressive iol work once inside the eye the answer is while looking at distance patient's eye will move half a degree down to bring distance segment of the iol in visual axis of macula while looking at intermediate distance objects patient's eye will remain almost horizontal to look through middle segment of the iol for reading patient's eye will move about half a degree upwards this is a very swift learning and it doesn't take more than 24 hours for the patients to adjust to this these are the specifications of autofocus pro iol surgeons can use whatever formula they are comfortable with we have mainly used srkt or barrett universal 2 A constant is 117.5 ultrasound and 117.7 optical. And this is the box design. To conclude, all other IOLs are gems, but Autofocus Pro is the jewel of the crown. These are the contact details for commercial availability of Autofocus Pro IOL. We are specially thankful to Dr. Ila J. Kakadia, who was constantly after us and inspiring us since 2010 to create a ringless, progressive, multifocal, large IOL, free from negative and positive dysphotopsias. She wanted us to prepare an ideal IOL for our own near future coming cataracts. Frankly speaking, Autofocus Pro was designed by 65 eminent eye surgeons. for their own and their parents future cataracts and hence it has to be and it is the best of the best iol it is an iol by the eye surgeons of the eye surgeons but not only for the surgeons it is also for all the people dr milin kiledar of sangli says that autofocus pro is an iol which is like fit it shut it and forget it Thank you very much for your kind attention and patient listening.